Hi, welcome to ARCAD and Small Guru. This is Rajiv Lochan. Again, this is part five of my uh, develop inventor add-in using Visual C Sharp tutorial. Okay, in our last tutorial, we had seen uh, a tree view being displayed. When you click on uh, submit button, whatever is open assembly that is. Uh, replicated in a tree view in, in our form now how can we add another button into our uh, add-in command bar so we do that by going to our uh, project we have ARCAD inventor add-in 4 I right click on it and uh, this time I also need to add a form so I just go and uh, add form in that form name I'll give something like uh, occurrence property cmd dlg dot cs that would be my form name I have since I have already created it I will just cancel it I have got this uh, form out here I drag two labels one for occurrence name and uh, one more label I have that is uh, label lbl occ name since that doesn't have anything that is not showing up and I drag one submit button and I rename it to submit cmd submit okay then I need to add uh, one more class which will implement uh, our uh, button.cs earlier we had uh, assembly tree button.cs so we will create a very much uh, similar uh, class and we will name it as uh, occurrence property button.cs so we right click on it and uh, we say add and we then go for add class and uh, name it as occurrence property uh, button.cs so I'll just close this and uh, I'll open this button.cs file this is very much similar to our assembly tree button so you can see that it implements a button then uh, we declare uh, a command dialog there we had a uh, taken an instance of uh, assembly tree button here we are doing it for occurrence property command dialog and uh, this is pretty much the same except that uh, these are the constructors and uh, yeah on execute what needs to be done when you click on it this is also the same as for that except that we are will be having a new instance of uh, occurrence property cmd dlg that is a form and we are uh, passing our inventor application the way did we the way uh, we did last time as well and uh, again this is the same in the last time so now uh, i need to go to our uh, assembly property sorry occurrence property cmd dlg i'll go to view code there uh, i declare inventor object inventor application object and this is passed as a pa parameter so this application uh, is assigned to our variable and when we hit on submit button what it does is it goes it creates a variable m underscore occurrence which is uh, inventor application objects active document whatever is open and there is something uh, called set select set concept in uh, inventor basically whatever you select using your keyboard or uh, through your mouse that gets recorded into the user interface uh, detail so and we have to pass this as the index since we are interested in the first select whatever is done so that is returned and we are typecasting it so we get uh, component occurrence type object into m occurrence and uh, upon clicking uh, submit button we just change the label text into the display name of uh, whatever uh, part or occurrence has been selected by the mouse okay there's one uh, interesting uh, concept here this is a select set this is when you have uh, an object action behavior this is basically like you select an 
object first and then uh, you perform the action this holds good for something like delete where you select an object and just delete it but most of the inventor uh, commands use in interaction uh, events that is for action object uh, type of behavior where you invoke the command and then uh, do the selections so we'll uh, look at it in a uh, screencast to come so basically once this is done uh, I need to go to my standard add-in server and I need to make some changes because we have added one more button and that needs to be reflected here so I start with the declaring a new button variable that is done first wherever you had uh, done something with our assembly tree button you need to do the same thing with the uh, occurrence property button as well once that is done we go to our activate method and inside activate method uh, we load image icons so basically assembly tree icon had is an icon and uh, again uh, we load one more image for occurrence property once that is done we go and uh, create a button so this is same except that uh, we need to make some changes like oh, its display name is different its internal name is different and its tool tape and description and uh, after that uh, we, we need to add uh, the newly created button to our command category so we do that by doing this and we also need to make some changes when uh, first time is equal to true so we add our button to the command bar assembly tree command bar so basically it's added for the first time and uh, that's it so this is what we need to do and once we do do this uh, we actually have to unregister our, our add-on that we can do by using our uninstall.bat that I had discussed earlier when you do this uh, restart uh, inventor add-in now your add-in won't be listed there again close inventor then uh, come back to visual studio and uh, right click on our project and build solution so uh, upon doing that again uh, start inventor and this time uh, you'll get a pop-up message saying like add-in loaded first time so again it's like loaded for the first time and uh, we see our occurrence property button listed here I've already done this so it's like coming automatically so when I click on this I get my pop-up uh, command dialog so again you remember that this is like uh, we need to first uh, select the object so I need to select an object if I click on this so that is selected and if I submit action is taken so it's basically like it's giving me the occurrence name okay let's make it interesting and I go here so even even I can select from this tree view I see click on uh, retainer then I submit then it gives you the retainer too so basically this is one step further where I am able to interact with uh, actual uh, assembly so in uh, more screencast we'll cover more thanks for watching